Hey everybody, what's going on? Big E here, and welcome to an episode of Big E's Film Reviews, but this one is called Big E's Episode Reviews. That means we're going to be reviewing an episode a couple days, with it being short of a couple days to Halloween, we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite Halloween classic episodes from growing up. I watch it every single year since that day it premiered, and we're going to talk about it, review it today. It's called... It, it's a Spongebob episode. It was re it aired on Nickelodeon on October 28th, 1999. It's called Scaredy Pants. We're not going to be talking about I, I Was a Teenage Scary because that's not really much of Halloween, but this, this is a Halloween version episode, especially I said a couple days till Halloween. So we're going to this season one episode. It's from season one. It's on set on season one DVD and it's on this second disc right here. Yep, and it has its regular voices of Tom Kenny who voices SpongeBob, Gary, and um, Bill Fagerbake. He's the voice of Patrick. If you remember Bill Fagerbake on the old '90s sitcom Coach, and this even had like other like, they even voiced characters on. The, Show itself too. Even Clancy Brown said that he voices Mr. Crab. Remember Clancy Brown from the movie The Shawshank Redemption with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. But today we're going to be talking. This is one of my favorite SpongeBob episodes. SpongeBob will be celebrating 20 years in July, I think, somewhere in July 2019. I have a list of my top 20 favorite SpongeBob episodes of all time. And Scaredy Pants could end up on the on the list of my top 20. I liked the episode too. There was a Spongebob, episode, a SpongeBob Halloween special that came, aired in 2017. It's called The Legend of Bukini Bottom. I didn't really care for it much, but it wasn't too bad, but the Scaredy Pants one from 1999. That's better, at least in my opinion. I mean, as soon as I can get my bills paid, a little bit paid up, um, I plan on getting The Legend of Bukini Bottom and I'm so I can review it in the future, so... Anyway, this episode starts, I love the graphics, the, in the Scaredy Pants logo with the, scare, with the jellyfish and the jack-o'-lanterns, and the storyboard director is Paul Tibbet, the storyboard artist is Mark O'Hare, it's written by Paul Tibbet and Peter Burns, and it, the animated direct, animation director is Sean Dempsey, Derek Simon is the creative director and has the special musical guest, the Ghastly Ones, and of course Spongebob is created by Steven Hillenburg, and he does a good job. I'll be probably be reviewing more Spongebob episodes, including I'll be reviewing the two movies, the Spongebob Squarepants movie from 2004 and the Spongebob Squarepants movie Sponge Out of Water from 2015. I'll be review definitely reviewing those in the future, probably want to do my... Tw top 20 Spongebob episodes for its 20th anniversary when it celebrates 2019. But anyway, let's get on with the episode. Tom Kenny's the voice of the narrator too, and it shows like a boat with a skeleton wearing a pirate hat head on it, pi pirate's hat on it, and it shows trick-or-treaters going to doors. They're like, trick-or-treat, houses are decorated, and that Krusty Krab is decorated with, ha with jack-o'-lanterns outside the building of the Krusty Krab, and it says happy Halloween, and meanwhile, SpongeBob is working at night, washing, drying dishes, and he hears suspicious noise. He's like, Who's there? Door, while the door's shut, and he's like, Washing a dish. And then SpongeBob sees a thing on the on the orders thing that's note that say B O O as in boo. And then he, he gets scared, washes dishes really fast, and he drops on the floor. He's told Mr. Krabs, the dishes are done, he's leaving, and then he runs, and then Mr. Krabs stops, and he goes, don't you want to hear my annual scary story? He said, no, thank you. He asked if it, there was monsters involved, and Mr. Krabs says, the worst monster of all, of them all, and SpongeBob just said, nah, and then just walks, tries to walk out the door, he goes, is it a true story? Mr. Krabs says, true as a deep blue, and then he's, he decided to stay here, and so SpongeBob has a seat, Mr. Krabs grabs the fire, and goes, ha, 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 ha. And he goes, every year on Halloween night, the Flying Dutchman descends on Bikini Bottom in a pirate ship, and he uses, has a, like a, 
Krabby Patty and goes, just like this, only bigger. And SpongeBob goes, excuse me, did this ship look like a Krabby Patty? And he goes, like I was saying. He, he said the bikini, and then he said, and then Mr. Krab grabs a bag across the Chris Krab logo off and, uh, and puts souls, and he goes, he starts swooping down and starts stealing people's souls. And then he goes, SpongeBob asks if souls look like pickles, and then he, Mr. Krabs goes, as a matter of fact, they do, and he go, takes the pickle with the bag and goes, and he puts them where you can never find them in the soul bag. <laughs> Miss SpongeBob scared Miss Squidward sneaks by and going, I've come for your pickle. Squidward, SpongeBob jumps up in the air and goes, ah! And then, and then SpongeBob yell, I mean, Squidward and Mr. Krabs laughing that they scared him. And then SpongeBob said, Squidward. And Mr. Krabs said, Nothing but a good ghost story, eh, me boy? Hope you're not too scared to come to the party tonight. Spongebob, scaredy pants, and then just runs out the door. Pat Squidward sneaks by and goes, steal your soul. And he, Spongebob jumps up at it and scared. That was my one of my favorite parts. Another favorite part I'll be talking about in, later in the video. Yep. Yep, and then meanwhile, he's walking home, and he sees jack-o'-lanterns, and he's very afraid, and then a trick-or-treater kid goes trick-or-treat, and Spongebob runs, and then runs away yelling, scared, and then the kid's parent goes, it's okay, son, that was just Spongebob scared his pants. He's fun. Meanwhile, Spongebob walking home, Mrs. Pop puts the brakes, stops her car while driving, Spongebob screams, jumps on the pole light, and she goes, dressed, she's dressed up as a witch, going, Happy Halloween, Scaredy Pants. Ah! Drives off, and he goes, The name's Square Pants. It's Square Pants. Yeah. Poor SpongeBob. I felt bad for him. But meanwhile, he's at home talking to Gary, and he said, And he's like, car While well, he's carving a jack o' lantern, the guy's in the smiley mouth. He's like, I don't get it, Gary. No matter how, every Halloween, no matter how hard I try, everybody scares me. He had a candle in there so he can see, especially with the jack lantern. Yep. And he said he was sick of being scared. And then after he cuts the mouth open, he gets out of jack lantern. He goes, no more scary pants. He sees the scary pant, the jack lantern's face, and he goes, scream. He screams, scared, and runs to the closet. And then Patrick's knocking on the door, and he's like, SpongeBob. SpongeBob answers the door. Patrick's wearing like a mask, glasses, fake nose, and mustache, and he's like, Hi, Spongebob. And Spongebob jumps in the air, yet screaming, and he goes, oh, Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. And he's like, Why can't I be frightening for once? Where's my chance? And he goes, Patrick says, If you're going to need want to be scary, you're going to need a very, very good costume. Yep. Pat, Spongebob puts a ghost costume on, a blank blanket, and Patrick goes, you're going to be going as my trick-or-treat bag. No, he goes, no, I'm the ghost of a flying Dutchman. He goes, something's missing. I know. And then he goes into the closet, finds a Christmas tree, he cuts it, and he makes some, like, custom shoes for for the costume. Trims it, he goes, step into these babies, Hans. He puts them on. Terrifying. Spongebob's like... No, Patrick. Meanwhile, the doorbell rings. SpongeBob answers the door with his costume on, and he goes, "Run, run!" Three, three trick or treaters. One of them with a pumpkin on their head. Dre the jack o' lantern. One dressed up like a mummy. One dressed like a witch. One of the they were played by actress Sarah Paxton, and um, they go trick or treat, and SpongeBob in his costume going, right, and they laugh at him. They're like, "Hey, look, it's the haunted mattress." <laughs> Which I thought was funny too, but and SpongeBob goes, "Here's your candy," and they just shunned, said, "No, that was enough. Thank you." And then they just walk away while laughing, and SpongeBob's like, "I don't get it. What's wrong?" Yep, and Pat SpongeBob goes, "Look, my paper ghost." Ooh, scare! And SpongeBob goes, "That's it. What's that difference between a ghost and me?" He Patrick's like, "I don't know." He's trying to figure out what. What the difference? He goes, no, 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 don't tell me. He goes, don't tell me, don't tell me. I can figure this out. Don't tell me. Okay, tell me. 
And he SpongeBob goes, I got a round head, and a ghost has a round one. All we have to do is make my head round, and boom, I'm scary. <sighs> That's my favorite scene. Yep. And then SpongeBob tells Patrick, round, and Patrick starts shaving. And then he goes, are you sure you want to do this? Shave me down, make me round. He goes, right, let's do this. Takes a piece of sponge and wipes the sweat while he's shaving. Yep. Meanwhile, SpongeBob looks round like the paper ghost. And what? And he puts the costume back on after Patrick shaved him. He goes, what do you think? Patrick goes, perfect. Sponge Patrick shakes his hand. And Spongebob smiles, now that's scary, Squidward, Sponge, pa I mean Patrick, puts his mask back on and he goes, let's go scare somebody. Spongebob going, ooh, I'm the flying Dutchman. Patrick going, ooh, I don't know who I am. They approach a door, guy's door, guy, they ring the doorbell, guy answers the door, and Spongebob going, rah, 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 I'm the flying Dutchman. Patrick goes, I'm the Flying Dutchman's best friend. And then they just walked away, ran away from the door, and Patrick, and the guy goes, don't you kids want your candy? And then they hide in this big rock, and, and they said something that was false, that his costume packed a punch, and he scared, Spongebob scared the barnacles off that guy, which I know was not true, because the guy didn't look scared. But I still thought it was funny. But um, Spongebob goes, who should we scare next? He goes, there's a whole party of full people down on the Krusty Krab. And he goes, and the Flying Dutchman is going to show up uninvited. Meanwhile, the kids who were at Spongebob's door were back. Were back. And um, he goes, I'm the Flying Dutchman. And then they just, he ran, runs away. And then Patrick just goes, Patrick just rocks, runs with them, and then they go, they go, wasn't that the haunted mattress? And the pumpkin goes, I guess he's been demoted to a haunted sleeping bag. <laughs> and I laughed my head off from that part. I thought it was funny. Yep, and meanwhile, at the Krusty Krab, everybody's got costumes on, and they got witch, Frankenstein, pirate, mummy, all... I like the Squidward's flying duck, and Sandy's dressed up as a goldfish, which I'll talk about in a second. Yep, Mr. Krabs ain't dressed up like anything. And P Pearl was dressed up like, like some, like, like somebody from the Munsters. That, yep, and while Mr. Krabs is bobbing for apples, he, he has an apple, he pulls it, like, he grabs it, and he, or the cheek, and he smiles as he got it, and then starts going down his throat, he starts choking, choking, and Pearl runs away crying, because she, she was like, Dad, you're embarrassing me again, she, and he's trying to <coughs> get it out, and then he got it out, and then hit the, 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 um, apple, hit the, door, hit the window, and meanwhile, Sandy was like, Hi, howdy, Squidward. I mean, fine, Dutchman. Great party, huh? And he had, he's dressed, Squidward's dressed up like the Flying Dutchman. Yep. While Sandy and Squidward are having a punch, fruit punch in a bowl, and, and Squidward asks what he, she's supposed to be, and she, Sandy goes, her modified her face as a goldfish. She goes, I'm a pet goldfish in a bowl. And Squidward goes, I don't get it. Sandy gave him a dirty look and walked away. And then just walked away while Squidward sips on the punch. And that was, I laughed my head off when she just gave him that dirty look and walked away. It kind of reminded me of the SpongeBob episode of Pickles when the guy asked for extra salt on his 12 Krabby Patties and he goes, We're all out. And SpongeBob goes, I mean, the guy goes, Could you check? Squidward goes, No. And then the guy gave the customer gave him the dirty look like, walked away. Meanwhile, in the episode, the Halloween, Spongebob and Patrick go on the roof, open the rooftop, the sunroof, whatever. Spongebob, Squared, Patrick ties Spongebob up, and Patrick ties the, the rope up to his waist, so life for support, Spongebob, and um, and um, he goes, you ready, Spongebob? Spongebob goes, and Patrick's the lighting control and Spongebob tells Patrick to light. I mean, and he turns the light 
turns the lights off, and then everybody's screaming, and then SpongeBob in his costume, in his scare mode, goes like, <laughs> like this. Like, he goes, <laughs> uh, and while Pat, with Patrick on the megaphone, as going, he's going, <laughs> I am the Flying Dutchman. Boo, 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 boo. Everybody's scared, and Patrick gonna give, tell him to give me, give me the souls. Give me, and then the jellyfish sneaks behind him. Jellyfish is like, and then sneaks behind him and stings him like in the, like in the back, like. And Patrick's like, huh? While the jellyfish flying, he's like, and they start screaming, "Pangle!" And then Patrick let go and Spongebob falls on the floor. Then, well, while Pat, Spongebob was tied to Patrick. And while, while Patrick was like moving around screaming in pain. And um, Spongebob kept like falling on the floor. And then like, ah. Everybody was just watching him. And Patrick like, like walk around. And Patrick, my favorite. I laugh when Patrick was rubbing himself against the chimney going, oh, oh, oh. I laughed my head off when that happened and um and he then he just runs continues to run. Yeah but SpongeBob stops shit and then and then the pumpkin go kid the pumpkin head goes, Hey that's no Dutchman. That's SpongeBob Sam's like SpongeBob and everybody starts laughing. Even Mr. Crab starts laughing. And he's like, SpongeBob crying for help. And, help. and Patrick on the main phone goes, Oh, Mr. SpongeBob, those are my street clothes. And everybody's laughing. Laughing. Flying Dutchman. Flying Dutchman. What a... And then the real Flying Dutchman comes. And he goes, Hello! Everybody's scared. And he's like... <laughs> and then there's a real flying Dutchman, Mr. Krabs, and he falls, passes out, and then, and then everybody's starting to be scared, they're like screaming, and the flying Dutchman goes, has his bag on his, like a purse that says souls, and then, and then he goes, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm going to steal your souls. And then everybody's screaming in fear and then and then fire comes out of his mouth while he goes while he while he goes Quiet You had it coming, you big cry babies. Every year people dress like me. And Squidward takes his flying Dutchman mask off and goes Turn it and then the Dutchman goes, turn the flying Dutchman into the laughing stock and he said that's not the reason he was taking your souls. Said SpongeBob was the reason that the straw that broke the camel's back. He said, of all the Dutchman costumes the Flying Dutchman has seen, SpongeBob was the most insult. He asked if that meant he was scary. And Spon Flying Dutchman goes, "You scary!" <laughs> Cuts the rope and he falls. SpongeBob falls, and he goes, "Let me tell you something about scary things. There's all kinds." of scary things in the world. Spiders are scary. I'm scary. You are not scary. Okay, let the... It's over with. And then Mr. Then the Dutchman like... <laughs> everybody's running in with feet, screaming in fear and Sandy goes, Spongebob? And he goes, Dutchman removes his costume. He goes, first I gotta get rid of this stupid costume. Meanwhile... He gets scared and then starts flying away. It shows SpongeBob's brain and his skinny part, like I guess, but he still had his eyes, nose, and mouth. And he's blinking his eyes and he goes to everybody, all, everybody who was left in the Crusty Crab, he goes, What do you know? I scared him! Ah! And then everybody starts running. Everybody starts running except Spongebob and Patrick. And Patrick goes, this is the funniest part I liked. When Spongebob said, it worked, Patrick. I scared everybody. He goes, yeah, I guess who's your pink hat? Spongebob goes, pink hat? Oh, that's not a hat. That's my brain. Patrick goes, 
Ooh. And then he runs going, oh. I laughed my head off when, when he ran. When he ran. <laughs> and I thought that was the funniest. Pat, Pat, one of Patrick's most favorite, funniest, dumb moments, at least in my opinion. But well, Patrick, after Patrick ran, the show faded to the black, faded to black, and then I was, I showed SpongeBob going, "Don't worry, it grows." He goes, "Don't worry, it grows back." It always does. That's one of my favorites. So that was a good episode, but there's lots of SpongeBob episodes I like. I like the pizza delivery one. My favorite. Um, I'm not crazy over the newer episodes of Spongebob Bob, like when they started to go from like 2005 to up um, the only newer episode of Spongebob I, I, I kind of like, I do like that it's a Spongebob Christmas which aired in 2012 and I do like but not, I do like that but not as much as the Spongebob Christmas 2 that aired on Nickelodeon in 2000 yep, meanwhile while Scary Pants aired um Nickelodeon Studios, the, the old one, Universal Orlando, Florida, Studios in Orlando, Florida, was open at the time, and I wish they didn't close that, but, oh well, it is what it is, part of growing up, but, you know, so, alright, YouTube, if I don't see you again, I mean, do, I mean, Steven Hilberg that makes a good cartoon, I mean, Spongebob's one of my favorite cartoons growing up, along with, like, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Doug, yeah. I don't care for today's Nickelodeon whatsoever, Nickelodeon or Disney or Cartoon Network, not at all, except some Spongebob, but the only Spongebob I like is basically the first three seasons, but, and I do like the two movies, so, but, I'll be able, you'll see more film reviews coming up soon, so, and more episode reviews too, there's going to be more episodes, more film reviews coming, so be on the lookout. Our YouTube, if I don't see, if I don't do another film review later in the week, I just want all you guys, wish you guys happy Halloween, and have a safe happy Halloween, and I urge every one of you trick-or-treaters, and the parents to make sure, be safe out there, be careful, and be safe, stay out of trouble. That's what I'm going to say right now to everybody as I close this video. Have a good, ha happy Halloween. Take it easy. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Stay out of trouble. Peace.